So I've been trying to make this FTP server, create this FTP server for about a week. And uh, I've been having a lot of frustrations with this 425 failed to retrieve directory listing error. Um, I was browsing some forums and uh, even went to YouTube and uh, and uh, one of the fixes, like th like the main fix that I saw people were talking about was to actually go into the FileZilla client here and go to the edit button and hit settings and go to the FTP section, change from passive to active and uh, go to this passive mode and choose fallback to active mode. Um, personally for me, this fix only worked on the LAN side. Like I could only connect using my IPv4 and uh, my local port and it, it worked like I could, I could list the directories locally, but whenever I tried to go to the end user's client and copy these settings, I was getting the same error on their end. So um, it was only half working and uh, it wasn't good enough for me because I still wanted people to be able to connect externally, obviously. Um, so, um, I even went to ftptest.net as well. And, um, it, it, it would, it would communicate with the server. Like it was, it was, uh, it was contacting the server externally. Like my port forwarding was correct. Um, but at the end, um, it gave me a suggestion that I should go into my user settings and check to see if my selected user had the permissions to be able to uh, list directories. And uh, of course, in fact, the user that I was using did have that permission. So um, I tried it again and uh, still to no prevail. Um, I was still getting the same error and uh, I was puzzled as to why I kept receiving the error. Um, and uh, I finally, uh, asked my dad uh, to check this problem for me. Uh, he's a network analyst and um, he explained to me that um, my ISP was blocking um, a specific range of ports uh, that I was using uh, to try and port forward this this server. And um, I am using a TELUS router, a TELUS NAT router. It's a home router. Um, I don't know which ports they're blocking, but uh, they're obviously blocking a range of ports um, uh, for FTP connections. I don't know why they do that, but uh, they do it, I guess. And um, basically, the fix for me was to use higher port numbers. I changed my four digit port to a five digit port and it worked like a dream. I'm now using port 50,000 and I'm forwarding that WAN port to uh, 22 and port 22 is, um, it's a reserved port for SSH and secure FTP. Um, so those are my settings. And uh, yeah, it works like a dream. Uh, I'm able to list dire uh, list directories and I'm able to connect externally. So I'm happy. Uh, that was the fix for me. Um, and I also wanted to go over some other things as well, uh, just to maybe bring some light for you on uh, why it also could not be working. Um, go into your Windows firewall, uh, make sure uh, that nothing is blocking ports 21 and 22. Um, if you have to create new rules for that or create new rules to allow incoming connections with um, the ports that you want to use, in, in my case it's 50,000, uh, create new f Windows firewall rules. Uh, check your router firewall rules. Um, s all routers are different, um, but make sure to thoroughly go through the settings um, in my case, like my router has uh, little check boxes in the firewall settings. It has a list of dedicated ports. Uh, go through those, uh, enable incoming connections for SFTP or FTPS or secure FTP, uh, enable SSH incoming connections um, and uh, basically do that. Make sure your port forwarding is correct. Um, 
and even uh, check your antivirus if you have one. Uh, your antivirus may contain a firewall as well, so uh, you might want to go into there and check for that. Um, yeah, that's basically it. And another thing uh, that I was kind of having troubles, I was I was kind of puzzled with. Um, whenever I try and go in here to the quick connect section without using the site manager, I'll try and connect right now. Oh. So the problem here is uh, it's not connecting on the quick connect. And uh, if you actually hover over here, um, it's it adds this freaking extension for I don't know why but if you hover over here and look at the pop-up it uh, on the bottom there it says supported protocols are and it gives you the list My, for for whatever reason uh, SFTP does not work for me but all the other ones do so if I try to um, go here and use FTP this is a plain unencrypted FTP connection so if I do that Oh, I didn't add the port, sorry. Okay, so I didn't add the port. Um, it, it clears out the port for whatever reason. So my ports, my listening port's 22. If I do uh, plain unencrypted FTP with port 22, it will list the directories. Okay, so that's all good. Um, if I do FTPS, which is implicit FTP over TLS, It for some reason uh, won't work. Uh, if I do FTP ES, which is explicit, it will it will uh, it will list the directories. So just make sure you try different protocols here. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. Rewatch the video and uh, just yeah, remember to check all your settings, your firewalls. Um, and uh, use higher port numbers uh, because your ISP may be blocking a, a range of ports uh, for FTP connections. So uh, anyways, guys, uh, hopefully that you found this video helpful and uh, I'll see you when I make another video. All right. See ya.